Hello there, welcome back to this YouTube tutorial. My name is Ruby from Ruby's Art and today I want us to create a, a soccer ball which is this one on the screen right now. I hope you like, subscribe and comment if you have anything to say, otherwise let's jump right in. Alright, so let's start with the ball. So go under general. So we have a cube here, just delete this cube or X on the keyboard and we'll come under add. So under mesh here, there's down here where it says math function and let's just get a reg regular solid. Let's just zoom in. So you'll probably end up with a triangle like this. And here we'll change a preset, the preset that is down here. So let's change this from custom to truncated icosahos whatever that is i won't even try to pronounce it anymore just click on that it's a fourth from the top and let's click on this so now let's go under edit mode so notice we have lines cutting through here which these lines would actually give us problems if we wanted to continue with this so let's just get rid of those lines first go under edge mode and select one edge say like this one here and under selection here come on top here and look for select similar and we are looking for all the lines that are similar in length and once we have these just push x on the keyboard and come down here under dissolve edges so notice we get rid of those but we still have these that remain here so select one of those again do the same process select similar length and x on the keyboard dissolve edges so we get this shape now let's go back to object mode and we will need to add a material to this so let's come under material down here and under material the globe globe thingy so select where it says new so it will create a new material here and we just want to make that material white so oops what did i do my bad new oh i went under preview is it okay so the only thing we're going to change here is the best color here which looks white so let's select this and just push this bar this dot that's on this bar here to the top so it is completely white and now let's go back into edit mode select so make sure here you are in face mode so let's select the face and now let's go under selection on top here and come down to select similar instead this time area so notice it's selected areas that well i don't really need so control i on the keyboard this will actually invert your selection so now we we are selecting these are the parts that i actually want so on top here we have one material so there's a plus sign here just click on this plus sign so it will create a new material for you so just come here where it says new and select new and also after you do that just click where it says assign so assign that to these places that we've actually selected so in my case i want the ball to be black and white so i want to bring it down it will be black in these places so notice you can oh by the way before i go too far you can actually choose any color that you want and continue with that but since we are not seeing any difference here what we are going to do is let's go under the viewport shading just click that so notice you can actually see your materials now so it's black and it's white and so on and so on so at this point we are close i would say we are halfway there so now what we'll do is push a on the keyboard selecting everything that is here and here where it says faces just come down here and click where it said where it says extrude individual faces so notice when you move your mouse it actually does all these funny funny things so just push escape on the keyboard or right click both will do the same thing then here we are going to invert again control i on the keyboard so we've inverted so it's selecting the faces that are in between here so what i want to do is push 
delete or X on the keyboard and this time we're going on faces so delete the faces that in be that are in between there and now the next thing is select all which is a on the keyboard just push a and we'll push ctrl t on the keyboard so notice we get uh this triangle it becomes triangle kind of a thing and what i want to do is click here on one triangle push a again to select everything and right click and then subdivide so here the subdivision number just put anything five works oops my bad what did i do undo let me just try and subdivide again so just push this number here just keep left clicking until you get a number that looks good seven uh that does wonders for me so now select the whole ball again pushing a on the keyboard and now let's come here where it says mesh and where it says transform so we want to transform this to a shear so click there and move your mouse notice it becomes round and well that's what we're looking for so now that we have this just go back to the object mode select this ball right click and then shed smooth so right now you might be wondering so how do we make those divisions so it's actually very easy just come here wait uh where there's a spanner thing here just click this is the modifier uh we want to add a modifier uh to the ball just add modifier here and go for the solidify so notice once you do that and you actually get this so as you would assume if you increase uh this it actually makes the the the, the last this a bit um sharper the the edges here but doesn't really do too much of it uh so we have a ball here so next up let's create the ground plane where the ball will be sitting what we need to do is first of all let's go to a single view and bring this ball to the top so let's start first by pushing one on the keyboard your number pad just push one and then push g to move so we'll move this till it reaches a point where it's sitting on the ground like that that looks good and now add mesh or we'll add a new plane and then this plane scale it just push five on the keyboard that looks big enough you can push zero on your number pad to see your uh, camera where it is actually framing so an alternative is five is not enough just push s again and just scale it to a point where you feel you're comfortable with it so now what we'll do is let's go under shading so when you click oops my computer is slow my computer is super slow so the thing is now we can go under where it says new you can go where it says new and we've created a new material for the ground plane let's go back to the camera view and well we can actually set this to however we want so let's start first let me start first by the camera i want to zoom in so g and hold down out net and then right left click and let's just zoom in let's zoom in a bit oops okay that looks good enough and g to move it up okay i'm happy with my camera angle and at this point you can actually save so select the ground plane let's save this say ball so i'll call it 001 since i already made another one so okay and now what we are what we're going to do is look for materials so i have this material that i actually got from um uh, polygon uh, it's a ground plane so i want to get first the color just bring it in chop it here and plug it into this and notice it will change so everything has changed so the other thing is let's just go down let's bring in the glossiness so let's get this glossiness and put it here then we'll plug it into the roughness and now for me to have more control over this i can actually 
put an invert invert uh, just in between here so I can bring this to like 0.7 and next up let's bring let's bring in the the normal map so let's bring in the normal map and we'll plug this into the normal here and bring in a normal a normal map uh, node here just in between here and I'll leave it the way it is. Let's just move it this side. Search for a bump uh, here and just plug it in. So the normal map will go into the normal map. Uh, what I've noticed is in here there's actually a bump uh, texture that they added. So I want to use this as well. So I'll put it here and I'll plug this into the height of this. So notice the bump. Oops. It's taking forever to load hope it doesn't crash okay so notice we have bump but in here it's not showing the actual bump like the height it's not moving at all so what i want to do is this uh let's move this here and let's come in here and notice there's um they actually put a displacement texture as well in here so let's just bring this and let's drop it here and I'll plug it into the displacement here then what I want to do is bring in a displacement just search for displacement and then plug it there so I'll remove it from normal and I'll put it into the height and now still nothing has happened so what we're going to do is select the plane and go under materials so make sure this material is being selected let's go down so down here under settings you will notice uh, so under settings how come I'm not seeing so let's change this to non color data first of all <clears throat> this is weird okay let me just get back to that so let's go under world and just bring in an environment environment oops escape look for an environment texture and let's plug it into here into this and open an hdri image so i want to use this open So if you're not seeing any changes, probably you are in the uh, in the viewport shading. So just go into uh, this other one here. This is the div. Uh, what did I call it? Yeah, just go to the last one here. I, I've forgotten what they call this. So the thing is, object. Then let's change the render engine to cycles. right so now let's go back to uh, these settings here the material settings and notice we have uh let's go under settings here what's going on here my machine is becoming super slow it's not responding okay seems like it's now responding okay so notice here under settings there's something new that has actually shown up there's the displacement here there's bump only let's change this to bump uh let's change this to displacement and bump so as you can see the whole thing looks like it's moved down a bit so what i want to do is let's just come back here and while selecting this let's go into edit mode and i want to subdivide this so I subdivided first time and select again subdivide for the second time and now I'll just increase this number to something like 8 so notice we have all these boxes and let's add a modifier so we can add a sub uh, division modifier so let's just turn this up and say to level something like 2 
and here push control a or you can come here and say apply so unfortunately you can't apply it while you are in edit mode so you have to be in the object mode to apply it so apply this and if we actually go back this is taking longer now hmm. so we have all these mountains now that have just come up so how to deal with this is you come here under scale and just put say 0, 0.0 um, let's put three there let's see how how it, how well it works Okay, so everything's gone down and we have all that so let's see it's taking forever to just I need a bigger machine hmm. so depending on the HDRI that you actually use you have uh, a different sort of lighting in here but the one big advantage that we actually have with this is uh, the displacement you can actually see here that they are it's actually displacing on a real-time thing so i think i i think i've gone too far i think let me just 0 0.03 let's use that yeah that looks much much better love this all right great so now before you actually do your render just go under the denoising data uh, so it's under this here that looks like a couple of photos view layer properties and check the denoising data and go under composition enable where it says use nodes and now what i want us to do is this before we actually there's a depth of field that i actually added to my uh, my image that is on the thumbnail and the one that I actually showed you in the beginning So that's how we are going to get there. So let's first start by searching for a denoiser So denoising data so select this noisy image goes into the image the normal Denoising normal goes into the normal and the albedo into the albedo and now we are also going to look for a defocus Select that and get the depth and plug it into the z-axis then search for a normalize and plug it in and then just change this z scale to something like nine anyway you see whatever so the depth becomes uh comes more like it moves towards the camera the higher this value is so you would want to uh, check if you notice uh, the image that you get is getting blared way beyond where you want just reduce this value or increase it depending on what works for you so i'll save that we are done thank you for watching please remember to like subscribe and uh, catch me in the next video otherwise bye bye